Good morning, I'm Chris Beecham and welcome to IG's Morning Market Headlines for Thursday the 7th of March. We'll see up around 10 points this morning at 64.37. Now it is Central Bank Policy Day, we've already had the Bank of Japan at uh, their meeting. They decided to keep policy unchanged, the interest rates at 0.1% and a decision to introduce more stimulus was voted down, clearing the way for the new governor who takes office at the next meeting to implement more substantial measures that are hoped to boost the Japanese economy. And we still have the Bank of England and the ECB to come. The Bank of England at midday, the ECB at 12.45. Uh, no change is expected from either of them, but we know the BOE is leaning towards more easing, so expect some perhaps some looser language on the subject of monetary policy. However, with Sir Mervyn King leaving later this year, it is still unlikely that they will actually change policy this late in the day. Now, in individual company news, Aviva is down 14% after it slashed its dividend by 44% as it continues to deal with the hangover from its last chief executive. They've been long been debated how this yield of 7% could last in the face of such a major restructuring program at the company. So it's rather hard hit this morning. However, Standard Life also in the insurance sector up 1.4% after it boosted its dividend thanks to 65% growth in underlying operating profit this year. Looking ahead, we have the Fed will release results from a US bank stress test program, so do watch out for US bank shares this afternoon. A fairly quiet day for US economic data ahead of non-farms tomorrow, and we expect the S&P 500 to begin around one point lower at 15.40. But that's it for me. Do consult your insight platforms for additional news and analysis.